What's up, guys? Welcome back to our channel. All right, man. So I'm going to give you guys a quick update on Project Gabby and on the black lighting outside at the shop that they brought to, uh, like three weeks ago. So, I mean, uh, I'll let you guys know what we've done on it. I mean, I haven't even uh, had time to record. I've been busy in work, and uh, my brother's been hitting the truck, and he's doing some work on it. So it's almost ready to go to the dyno. So I'm going to show you guys what Mando's done to it. And uh, just stay tuned. Hi, right, guys. So here's Project Gabby. Uh, so I'm going to give you guys... Little brief update of what's been going on here in the shop with this truck. Uh, it's been here for about four months, and uh, some of the parts that we uh, were expecting to arrive earlier took a little bit longer due to the COVID-19 situation, guys. But here it is. I'm going to go over what's been done to the truck, guys. So we've done lowering suspension front and back. We've done the brakes, the new rotors front and back also, new wheels. Uh, we took off the bed, cleaned everything out underneath the, the frame. Um, and we just finished the Bazani exhaust and the Caltrax has Caltrax also, but my brother just finished the Bazani exhaust last night. He was, he had to weld some custom stuff on it. Why? Because this kit, when Manny bought it, it was designed to run on shorty headers. So after a couple of weeks, they called him and they told him that the shorty headers were discontinued. So Manny called me up and he told me, David, do you think we could do some long tubes? I was like, yes, sir, we can. Everything's possible. We'll just get my brother Mando to cut and you know piece everything together so that's what he did and uh we were waiting on some little parts for the for the welding machine that welded aluminum or stainless but once we got those in mando went ahead and welded everything else and it looks pretty nice we'll be under there in a little bit guys i'll show you guys that bazani exhaust we will give you guys a close-up on these tips they look really nice oh man i love them she's gonna sound amazing guys something else we've done on this truck guys we did interior sound dampening on this truck, new carpets. The seats are gonna be brand new. Manny bought everything new for it. Uh, because after the, we're done with this truck, she's gonna go straight to the paint shop. Well, after we're done with this one, she's gonna go to the dyno. Then we're gonna take it and drop it off at the paint shop. And they're gonna lift everything. They're gonna paint the frame. They're gonna do everything on it and paint the whole truck again. So she's gonna turn out really nice. And she has a new cow hood that's coming in too. But we did those mods and mando just finished doing the cock pulley system install on it so there you guys go it has a four pound lower and a 2.9 stock upper but here's the pulley for the stock upper so there you go it's a 2.9 it's right here so um i don't have a small pulley puller so my brother went and get one from Derli. so when he comes back we'll just put this one put the belt in guys and we're gonna finish the electric fans. These are dual Flexalite electric fans and these things really really work pretty nice man They do a lot of CFM flow on it. So we're gonna be good on temperature Has a ported blower from Joker's performance. We took everything out. We cleaned the engine bay We cleaned the interior then we send out the supercharger to get uh, ported. I'll post some pictures guys so you could see it uh, Has a single blade throttle body from LFP long tube headers like I said uh, the whole catback's exhaust is a two inch and a half. I would love if it would have been a three inch, but Manny didn't uh, contact us before he bought it. So he had everything, then he contacted us, but it's still gonna run pretty good. She's still gonna make some good power. She's gonna sound really good de and decent. So uh, what else, what else, what else? Right, so once we're done with all this, guys, because I'm gonna wire these tomorrow, but once we're done with all this, uh, we're gonna check everything. Get her back on uh, online, and then we're gonna hit the dyno on this truck, guys. So she's gonna go straight to Sonoli's performance shop there in Mission, Texas, and from there on, she's gonna go to the body shop. She's gonna look really, really nice. So let's go under and see what my brother Mando did. Let's see. You. All right, guys. So here's the exhaust system. There we go, Bazani. So he had to make some welds up ahead. And on that side, but I mean, it looks really nice. I like it. I like the way the fitment came on this truck. Everything seems fine. You think they're gonna hit, but no, that's the design. That's the way they roll. Bazzani. So that's Project Gabby. 
Now I'm gonna talk to you guys about the Black Lightning outside. It's another 2000 model, 2001 model. Came in because it was making a weird noise on the engine and it was smoking pretty good. So it would run. Um, every time you turn it on, it would smoke pretty good, like blue. And then after a while, it will go away. But every time you rev it, it would, you know, smoke more. And you can hear that little tick 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 on the engine. So um, the guy wanted to do a full cleanup, EGR delete, and all that good stuff. So and compression test. And we did the compression test, guys, and it came out to cylinder five and six. We're at 20 psi. I mean, that's pretty bad. And there was another one at one, 125. So that's pretty low. It should be around 160, like from 150 to 180, you're good. I mean, but average, you'll be at 170, 165. And uh, well, we're gonna remove the engine, guys. I'm gonna have a lot of videos on that too. We're gonna remove the engine. I don't know if the owners wanna go for a build motor or just, you know, get everything back to stock. And I'll show you guys the supercharger, how it came out. All right, guys, so here's the supercharger that we painted for the black lightning. Everything came pretty nice. Everything's cleaned up. Has a single blade LFP, like Project Gabby on that side. And yes, we do have a lot of nitrous. All those are filled up. Cause I got another video coming for you guys. And you guys don't know what's about to happen and what car is gonna get a nitrous system. Um, I'm also guys, I had posted on Instagram like a week ago or two weeks ago. Um, that if you guys wanted to see some content on this bike, this is my 2012 Yamaha R1. I bought it back in 2012, brand new off the showroom floor. And uh, ever since I've used it for a year, then I parked it. Still has the stock original tires on it. The back one's pretty beat up already, but she has around 6,500 miles, guys. And I posted if you guys wanted to see some content on this bike or like some moto blog style like that. And everybody accepted 100%. So. I'm gonna buy the new tires, guys. I'm gonna charge the battery and we're gonna get it running. Cause it's pretty damn new, man. It's just collecting dust. I mean, I'll do a full review on it. But, uh, and yes, 22, that's my favorite number, guys. 22. But here it is, guys. All I have for you guys, I mean, next week we're gonna have a good video. We're gonna be working on, on, on this truck, uh, getting it ready for the dyno, or it might be the dyno video, guys. I still don't know, it depends. But I'll keep you guys posted, man. I, I, it's a short little video. Sorry, guys. But I just had to get you guys updated. So stay tuned, guys. Don't miss out. And we're going to have this baby on the dyno. See you in the next one.